I must say, ladies, you're looking dashing today. You're looking very fine. Me? All of you, collective. Hi, Batchat. I have a serious dilemma. Oh. I am four months pregnant. Me and my partner has just discovered that my child has Down syndrome and possibly other complications. The other day, I told my partner that I would not like to bring a disabled child into this world to suffer, but he is adamant that, he, that we go through with the pregnancy. Am I a bad person for not wanting to do this? No, no. no. Because I've, I, I, I've always said, yeah, and I'm saying this, and I say it all the time, I might seem horrible, but I'm truly not. Um, I've got family that are disabled, but the, the extent of caring for a disabled person is a lot. Personally, I couldn't do it. If I got pregnant now and I found out that the child is disabled... No, she said exactly how... What do you mean? Honestly, I'm saying it. God will look at me. God will look at me like, Ross, Sylvia, you're moving mad, but I'm telling no, you the truth. Do you know what? Yeah, I can respect it, you know. The extent really of looking after really a disabled nice. person is a lot. I got my stepbrother, he's got Down syndrome and autism. I've got another cousin who got Down syndrome and autism. There's a lot of people in my family who are disabled. Looking after them day in, day out, it's a lot. And you got that for your whole life. Your life then becomes on a standstill for that child. Yeah, You're watching that child. Happens. They can't advance because they can't talk for themselves. They can't can't change themselves, they can't shower themselves. You change their nappies at the age of 21, you're still changing their input, their pull ups. What well, for Down syndrome? Yeah. And, and autism, yeah, some people. Different it's different cases, yeah. yeah. Some are not that extreme. Is that Down syndrome or autism? Well, Down syndrome and autism, but it, it depends how severe the Down syndrome is. There are cases though when where the child actually comes up normal, you do know that, right? I wouldn't know because I already yeah, had to go to the abortion. There's an actual well, test. Well, well, That's a fair point still. That's incorrect because it's not a doctor, it's, they it's, actually it's a scan. Test. No, but I know somebody said the child was going to be disabled and they come out and the child is not disabled. When you're pregnant at around three and a half months, four months, they do a spinal test on your baby. It's nothing to do with needles or anything like that. It's actually within the scan itself. They just check the space between the spine, between the skull and the copula. So the, the bottom of the uh, spine. So they have to check the space between each one to see if there's enough fluid in there that actually creates the Down syndrome condition. But um, most of the time, like most children, one out of 10 children do end up with autism, Down syndrome, but not all tests can be detected. The only one that is detectable is Down syndrome. How I see it personally, is that a doctor, an artist, anyone, everyone can be wrong at any point of time or just get make a mistake. Like there is outliers. I think for Sylvia, you to say that you wouldn't have a child if you knew it was disabled, I feel like you need some self-love and you need a hug. Like you need to deep what you're actually saying. That's what I personally think. The only way I'm gonna say that you're like, I would understand your point of view, if you knew your child was actually gonna be suffering to a point where they can't eat properly, they can't sleep properly, they can't walk, those are the kind of things you don't want your child to be suffering that in that point. I'm sorry oh, to say, but a disability doesn't yeah. necessarily... Firstly, a disability is not physical all the time. And also, a disability might come later on in life. Like, I, my brother's got ADHD. Okay, that's not severe, but we, that wasn't an issue. That never came up in conversation when he was a child. Or came, up. Came up that only came up when he went to secondary school. And what I wanted to ask anyone that is a parent here, mainly to the mums, dads are also parents, you know. No, no, but, but you guys are God, God will come to you to bless you. The reason why I'm going to this one because they're the ones that give birth. So the and next, they're the ones that can make the decisions. They're, they're the ones that will make the decisions. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking them specifically because um, what I wanted to ask you was um, has it ever been said by a doctor or I don't know, statistics no, but, that there can be any complication with the pregnancy or like, you know, even dying or kind of thing? Jesus. Has that ever been an issue? Like, let's say, like, because of the illness of the child, it could affect your pregnancy. No, but that's a bit more severe. I think mm. when you when you when the doctor tells you that, oh, if you have this child, you may not live or you might, you know, die because there's some form of complications in the womb. I think naturally anyone's going to save themselves before they think of bringing a life into the world. Oh, wow. It's the truth. Like, oh, wow. the truth, the reality is... No, no if you're going to die, what? Listen, no, I'm some, some mum's going to give their birth. Cold-hearted beings, man. Legit cold-hearted beings. And the reason why I say that, I say this. You'll promote this thinking outside the box, thinking from the other perspective, you know, turning the other cheek. Everybody's always doing this kumbaya stuff now. The, the one part where it's actually clear-cut, where you're actually meant to think and use this, like, no one's saying it's wrong for you to think about it, but the desensitisation of what you're doing here, like, but you're all, yeah, get out of there. 
if I'm given that option that this life hasn't yet entered this earth, I have the opportunity to save myself and most probably give birth to another child which may not have complications and might be okay, why would I take that? Why would I risk my life? Like, let's keep it 100. Wait, sorry, not only that, yeah. You're saying, sorry, baby, you're saying wow, yeah, but do you realise that some people can give birth and also die? You give birth to that. Birth is a miracle. I read something. You can 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 And just so you know, there's a high percentage of black women not actually surviving after birth, by the way. I nearly died during my birth. Like, I could have died giving birth to my child. Can I respond to all three of you? Ah, wait. I read someone that said how women are 90%. You know, death is the pain that we experience during childbirth is 90% close to death. Yeah. So literally, that's why they call it a miracle. I, and nobody else really, can tell you that you're a bad person for even considering not bringing a child into this world if they are potentially going to be disabled. Because all of us people here with our opinions, we're not going to be the ones that are helping you raise that child. We're not going to be going through the struggles with you. So what is my opinion? I was wondering how this was going to go. Um, I, I was born with very, very complicated circumstances. My mum wasn't meant to live. What are you doing? When I was born. Um, I was, at the time, um, a breech birth, so I came out leg first. And um, during, I was born, I'm quite old, so at the time I was born, it wasn't as advanced medically as it's things were now. Um, and in actual fact, they actually told my mum, the chances of you having this kid and you surviving are, are next to nothing. There's no point in you doing it. And apparently I had uh, stuff wrapped around my neck, whatever. And I didn't I'm tell. Yeah, so I was very, very... Um, sorry, what? can I just take a minute, please? Like, sorry. You okay? <laughs> Do I do anything? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no, no. This topic she is just actually, close to home for her. This topic is really good for her. Wow. Um, this one's really hitting close to home just for the fact that I've got three children and two of my children have uh, autism and my other daughter has giant syndrome where she's actually the size of a five-year-old and she's two and a half-year-old. So when this topic came up, it actually took me back to my daily life of the struggle that I deal with on a daily basis. This is really personal, really, really close to home. Um, I can actually breathe. <sighs> yeah, so um, a huge part of my growing up has been, you know, a crazy love that I feel like, obviously everyone has a love with their mum or whatever. Um, no matter what happens between my mum, like I have this crazy bond with my mum based on the fact that I knew how I was brought into this world, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I said well, because hearing you guys say what you said, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And I'm very healthy. Okay. Don't go doctors, don't use medication. But it's, it's interesting just to hear how... <laughs> oh, Lucas. Oh, I gotta love you, bro. Stick to the scenario. A disability is not having umbilical cord wrapped around your neck. That is a birth complication. There, that means there was a complication at birth, which could have led to you dying. And that is a serious matter on its own. And we thank God for your life. But why is it every time? We're talking about a disabled child. You're not disabled. Why must you bring a story from the archive to now slot in place and try and relate it? It's just like, you know them times when you were X Factor and you got this singer that you want to win and we hear about your backstory life of, oh, I came from the ghetto. No, we don't need that kind of stuff. Keep to the structure of what we're talking about and let's keep it moving. If we bring it back to like what she's asking is in like, is she a bad person for feeling this way? She's not. She's not a bad person because the test, the test, the test is even... Listen to what you think, sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, I think as a parent or a soon-to-be parent, if there is any inkling or any reason why you think you can't give that child the best life, um, obviously take that into your own hands. However, I will say that having a good life or a bad life is relative. You think that you are having the best life because you don't have a certain disability. People with Down syndrome are actually quite pleasant and they have really nice lives. They're quite happy people. So um, definitely take that into consideration. But overall, no, I don't think you're a bad person. My, my, my thing was, it's more interesting to hear you as women, you know, think about it so logically. Do you get what I'm saying? The reason she shouldn't feel yeah. bad in, per se is because <clears throat> you kind of have to know every situation you're getting to and what you can stomach. Yeah. Do you understand? Me personally speaking, like, you know, I'm dyslexic, do you understand? Which is a form of disability. It's not the biggest of disabilities. I don't even care for it. Do you understand? And maybe if 
they could detect if I was dyslexic from a young age or a baby, you know, I wouldn't be here. I don't know. But the reality is, if someone said they want to come out in serious cases of severe disabilities, I have to know myself and think, am I strong enough to take this? Yeah, yeah and I think well, you need to understand yeah. that the And the thing is, you shouldn't feel bad for it because you have to be real. The reality of, of what, the test can be what, wrong, what, what like we're all said. talking about is, let's be real, you could have a fully healthy baby, five, six, seven, eight years old, anything can happen, your baby becomes disabled, has, you know, disabilities. You know you couldn't cope. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you have that mentality, okay, I can't, I can't, but when something is placed in front of you, that you have no choice and you deal with it. And, and that's why I said, wow, because there's a lot of people living out there that still have a very nice life, still live calm. And I respect you lot for saying it. Don't get twisted. I'm just saying the other side here. I respect you lot for saying it because, like I said, when I, when I was listening, it changed my stance because I was about to say, well, you know, a lot of people, logically, you have to think about it. Can I really handle this? Uh, and to hear, like, that's why I said to hear the women talk about it. It's like, it's quite logical. It's quite... It's quite deep to an extent because you're the you're the carriers like you're the you one that carry this life. Exactly. You know. That's and that and that's it. And can I just say, there's so many bigger things to it. Yeah, we don't know her circumstances already. Do you understand? Her bringing a possibly disabled child into the world, yeah. that changes everything for her. She's not bringing just a child to the world. She's bringing a child that needs extra support. So that's going to yeah. cost more. She's going to need more support. And sorry, just, I just wanted to confirm, in, did, is she with the father? The, the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so thankfully for her, she, she is um, with the father. There's some scenarios where, you know, women, they want to do the, the, the single mom journey. They don't mind doing a pregnancy. They're okay if the daddy's there or not. And then to, in, in, the, in the midst of that, they hear that. They need to now decide if they're happy to be a single mum that's one and then to be a single mum to you a disabled child you have girls out here that are happy to be single mums and, you have and survive off the government doing you're fuck all okay, raising okay, a child but, but, and you know but what? Look, look you're now saying okay, we should now logically rationalise yeah, bringing a child into this child, world but the people that decided to do that that actually didn't have that support you're not hearing my yeah, point I heard your point you, you, didn't, no, I, you talked over me you didn't hear my point I want to hear what Tara has to say about it Sorry for walking out like that. It's obviously, it's close to home because obviously I've got two disabled children. My son's got autism and ADHD and my twin daughter has autism and then my other twin daughter has giant syndrome where she's the size of a five-year-old and she's two years old. So when it comes to having to decide at that point, if I had known that my children, there would have been something wrong with them, I still would have had them. For the simple fact that I had three miscarriages before I even got to that pregnancy. There you go. Do you understand? Let me finish. The thing is, no, go on, go on, Mark. finish, but I want to ask you a question. But it's, it's just a simple fact that I, I love my kids, regardless of what it is, what they have, even in direct family members who have got autism, they've got... ADHD, Down syndrome, some are disabled from the neck down and they can't do anything and they've got a permanent carer, they've got someone who takes care of them all the time. So in a sense where it's like, if I had known, would I have done it differently? I wouldn't have. I would still have had my kids for the simple fact that I struggled to get to this pregnancy. Yeah. Same way we may not know what this person's circumstance, this young lady's circumstances, if she got struggled to get to the pregnancy, if she had to go on tablets, hormones, IVF, we don't actually know. Do you understand the backstory of how she got to that pregnancy? Go on, Mark. Dude, man, I, I don't want to be a devil and I don't want to be a, a dickhead in this, but I want to ask you, so you've got four kids? Three. Three, and you said all of them are disabled? Yes. Okay, cool. So after the first child was born, did you not like, were you not scared that this would repeat? Of course. Okay, cool. So the second time when it happened, yeah, but she was that, hold on, hold on. What? Okay, you had twins. Okay, yeah. cool. So my thing is now like, you're saying that if you had a choice, you would do it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to say, I don't really believe you on that. The only reason I say that is because nobody wants a life of hardship. Nobody wants a life of struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, my thing is with you, of course, kids are kids. Do you understand? They're a blessing in no matter what form, no matter what shape. But if we have a choice as human beings for suffer or this is the, the easy way. Thing that's pissing me off. Like, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the fuck is everyone talking about? When it comes to dealing with children with special needs, disabilities, any of these type of things, for what I've gone through for my kids, I will go through it again a hundred times over with more children. For the fact that my life is about my family and my family are my kids. That simple.
I don't think the person in this should feel bad about that. I actually think disabilities aside, yeah, disabilities aside, I think more people should really, like more people when they're having children in general, should really think and decide whether or not they're actually ready for children. Now, let me say this, yeah. I'm going I'm to say something like a personal thing for me, yeah. So for me, for example, like my mum's schizophrenic and my dad's schizophrenic and he's a crackhead, yeah. My mum, no, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is my mum and dad, they had a one night stand and then that was it. My, I didn't meet my dad till he was 23 years old. You get what I'm trying to say? Till I was 23 years old. Now, my thing is this, like, if it wasn't for my grandmother, I would have gone into care and then God knows what would have happened. It was up to my grandmother to step forward and basically make the sacrifice to take care of me. Now, she had to basically sacrifice her whole life just for me. I wouldn't have felt bad of her if she didn't do, didn't do that because she might not have just, she might not have been able to handle raising a whole new child. So I think in general, people should just generally think in general, disabilities aside, whether or not they're able to have children. I don't think people should just be fucking having kids just for the sake of it and just thinking, you know what, I can manage, I can do it. I think, I, I I think you're something? basically doing a disservice to your child. People need to be really ready before they have children, bruv. Because if it wasn't for my grandmother, I could have ended up anywhere, bruv. Like, I got a brethren, and his mum's a top slag, bruv. Like, I'm glad that his mum ain't my mum, bruv. Like, he's seen his mum fuck at least five different men, bruv. That's dead. I just want to respond to a few of what you've said. Yeah. Now, I've come from a family where my mum's, my grandma's brother had a um, disabled child. So my experience and my view on it would be, personally, if I knew that my child possibly could have a disability, I wouldn't keep that child. Or, or some, have some form of life complications, I wouldn't keep that child. Only being because I want to give that child the best life it can have. And that's me keeping it real. People can say, oh, you're deep or whatever. Mm. I want to give that child the best can life. can still give that child finish. the no, best life, finish. though. No, no, no but no, no, this no, is her experience. experience. Is experience. She has seen Please. that in her me. family. I've, I've, I've seen it in my family. My grandma's Wait. brother has got a disabled son. You know, he went to law school. He, he, he graduated to be a lawyer. When they had that child between my auntie, the sacrifice that my uncle made, or my great uncle made, was that he made, he, didn't, he stopped working to be a full-time carer for his son. While my auntie, God rest her soul, she's dead now, was working. Do you get what I'm saying? But I see, like, my auntie would travel with the other children. He couldn't travel because of his disability. He can't do certain things. And their family, without really knowing it, was divided. It broke. Do you get what I'm saying? It broke that household because the pressures that they experienced and had to go through. He had severe yeah. disabilities. Awesome. And even up to now, up to now, not everyone has the fun to be able to put their child in some form of care. Absolutely. Not everyone has the fun to try and, do you get what I'm saying? They end up caring they, themselves. They, they, they end up, and you lose your life. And right. if you're, so if you're willing to make that sacrifice and lose your life, That's then go right. ahead. That's respect I, to you. I, but I, I know what, wait, 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 Lucas. No, it's the land. Okay. Land. Can I reply to no, no, no. So, but I know as a woman, and I believe as a lot, a lot of women, if you're, as humans, like Mark said, if you're given the option, best believe, unless you haven't seen and had to suffer and see what you could, you know, because some people haven't seen how hard it can be. Mm -hmm. But if you've been in a position where you can see how hard it can be, best believe you're going to choose the, the, the option to make life easier. easier. My, well, I think it would be third cousin, you know, is disabled. He can't do nothing. He's dependent on an adult. And he will never, he will always be like that for the rest of his life. So I know why I'm speaking from experience like this, because I know it's not easy. I see it. I experience it. I've watched it. Do you know what I mean? And this is something that it breaks my heart to see. I feel like if my child was in, in a wheelchair, I'll still have my child because I can still love my child, still play with my child. And at the end of the day, what people understand that um, a happy life is subjective. So that child in a wheelchair that's never run, run up and down, but has had love, care, everything from th their surroundings, they might not ever want to go to a party, do you know what I'm saying? Because they haven't, for their life, what they see is good and it's happy already. Do you know what's frustrating me about this year? I fully hear what you lot are saying. That's why I said logical. It makes sense, do you get what I'm saying? The, f the, 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 the knowingly going into something that's going to be difficult, yeah? Of course, you know, you, 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 ideally you would make the, the, uh, the choice of not going into a difficult situation. My problem is the, the words you guys are using, i.e. sacrifice, basically comforts of life. I know, yeah? but that's Hold on, let me finish. Though. Your um, um, situation that you just explained now, yeah? Nothing's to say that that wasn't her choice, that wasn't what made her happy. That wasn't her fulfillment. Oh, yeah. well, Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying to you? you? You cannot determine what makes somebody else happy. You can't determine another person's hardship. If you find yourself in a situation where you are, they've told you you're going to have a, a, a disabled child. Now, there are, there's help out there. There's the support out there. Hold on, let me finish. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's difficult, yeah? Like anything else in life. But 
The only difference between what this question puts to you and what life puts to you is that, listen, you could have your kids. You don't know what happens in 10 years. You yeah, don't know what happens. in 10 years. Oh, listen, oh. stop trying to pick out my point. Let yeah, me finish with my point. Though. I didn't pick out your point, did I? Okay, so let me finish. Yeah. You could have your kid. At 10 years old, your kid become disabled. Yeah. You wouldn't have made that choice to have that kid before. If you knew he was going to be disabled, right? I get what you're trying to say. So Are you basically you, what saying I'm, What that? I'm saying is, yeah, you don't know what you can deal with. You don't know what your actual sat fulfillment will be or what it will come from. Like, that, ch that child that you give birth to could be your purpose. Yes. That could be your fulfillment. True. Yeah? So, uh, so as... But what about the people that leave their children and completely abandon them because they did try it and it didn't work out for them? Because there are people out there that took that risk. Lucas, I'm talking to you, mate. I'm not trying to argue with you. I hear what you're saying. I'm tired. I'm, I can't do this shit. I didn't even finish landing with a point. Like, this ain't a topic where I'm, I'm trying to like shout at people or whatever. It's something that's very touchy with me. So I'm not trying to say, oh, you're chatting shit. I'm not doing none of that. You feel me? I hear what you're saying. All I'm saying to you lot is, you have to be careful with the way you're wording these things and the way you're putting it out. What's fri frivolous and frimsy, uh, flimsy to you is people's realities and real life, and that's their love and that's their world. But you respect you know that. What I'm no you. one's disrespected that, though. But what, what essentially what you're saying is, it's like, yo, well, listen, if I know that from the jump, boy, I'm not having that. No, no, I, no, I, no, I, I didn't think like that. I didn't no, word it like no, that. No, I didn't word it like that. You're, you're wording it like that. Unfortunately for Lucas, this is back chat where we are allowed to be free in it, how we express ourselves. I'm speaking my truth. And unfortunately, if Lucas doesn't like it, then he has to suck it up because half the time when he speaks, I don't agree with what he says anyway. So he needs to be quiet and let me express what I'm expressing. Can I interject, yeah? I'm gonna let you come in. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're, we're all trying to balance and jump on there. This is sensitive, this is this, this is people's reality, yeah? All right, cool. Another thing, that's a thought for you, lot. I mean, your partner, how long have you known your partner? <coughs> Me, mm -hmm. six years. Six years, all right, cool. So when you met your partner, before you did your thing, was there a conversation to say, is there any form of things on your yeah. side that I should know of? Yeah. 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 There was, right? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. There was, yeah? Yeah. So then would it, be say, would it be wrong of me to say that that action, see, this before I, it blows up now, was it now careless to now proceed knowing there's a high possibility that this could happen to you? But I'm just, hold on. But I'm on the spectrum as well. What do you mean? I'm on the autistic spectrum as well. I'm on the I'm I'm on the high I'm on the high I'm on the high functioning end. So regardless of who I have a kid with, my kid will come out with a smidged like a tooth or five. Okay, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get at is that we're all here to try and educate one another, yeah. And I'm trying to ask you questions because I want people that I'm, it's not just us. Fuck, no, us, of course, fuck everybody here. I'm talking about in. everybody. Now my question is, you're sitting there, you're saying you're on a high spectrum. So what is the chances you meet somebody now? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to say even the smallest of percentage? Yeah. Is going to spark that. Yeah. So yeah, then, then, do you know, then, do you know, then, do you know why it is though? It's because my son, my son's dad has his own dis disabilities and mental disabilities that he deals with us on, on his own accord. I don't know the in depth part of that, but that's there on my son's side. He's then got the autism and ADHD from my side of the family. So when I met my partner, my twin's father, and we were together, we had a conversation about, oh, is there anything like this? And I told him, yeah, like, I've got family members that are, you know, I've got my son, myself. And he took that on board. But a simple fact that it's not like it's a high, it's like a low functioning thing where it's like, I can't talk, I can't communicate, it's non-verbal, I can't tell distinct right from wrong. I, I just want to finish I'm, the point. I'm on the yeah. high functioning side where it's like, I can communicate, I can articulate, I know right from wrong. My problem is, is that when... I'm trying to like tell you something and it's in my head. It won't come out the way I want it cool. to come out. Do you see so what, what I'm, I'm saying? So what I'm saying to you is I don't want to be the like wow. a bad person. What I'm saying is you said you couldn't communicate it. So therefore you made a choice knowing that both sides are very high in then causing this. So then your life choice was kind of created for you because you decided to have these kids. Now I don't know your kids and I'm sure they're beautiful and lovely in every Lovies. single way. But what I'm trying to say is now. See, there's also creating a situation that you're going to suffer in, and also that child's quality of life is going to be hardship. Yeah. I saw a documentary the other day, I don't know who was what I was watching it with, um, where there were Siamese twins, right? And the dad went through hell and back to get them separated. And the choice he had to make was to either separate them or to uh, separate them, have individualized, or keep them together to have a quality of life that only two of them could have together. Mm -hmm. Now, the first question that the doctor asked her, he had a doctor, he had a psychologist, and he had a specialist. Yeah? Millions of pounds. I think the millions of pounds were spent on it because they wanted to show an example. The first question they asked him is, did you not or did you 
have any inkling of this situation. You know what he said? He said, yes, I did. But because I was in love, I made that choice. You know what the doctors, and I shit you not, it's in the car, it's in the direction after, and we can put this on after. The doc, one of the doctors pulled out. I said, I'm no one to be a part of this. Hold on, I want to be no part of this after. You know why? Because he said, it's very selfish to know that you're going to put two children in a possibility like this for the rest of their life, knowing that you could have avoided the situation. But you know, but Mark, no, 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 I understand. Hold on, Tara, that's, that's similar, like people giving birth, yeah, like people get into relationships and you don't know the blood type of the person that you're with. You like how many people do we know that have, especially with the, within the black community, do we know that have sickle cell? Because, my mum my is sickle cell trait, yeah? I, I, I'm a sickle cell trait, but the thing is, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, people don't, they don't, don't know. Giving birth to somebody and then giving birth to, whether it is dis disability, sickle cell, that you're putting that child at a risk for the rest of their life. What Lucas said, yeah, cool, you might have a child now, they're born healthy, like, great, amen, everything is great. And then, God forbid, in 25 years, 10 years, something bad happens. The difference is, you is that you didn't, I, I don't have a choice of that. So That's at fine. that moment of time, I, I have that. to prepare myself. You have to remember, that. being disabled, you're still a person, do you know what I'm saying? Fortunately, in this day and age, we have technology, and it's there to help us see things earlier on in pregnancies, which can detect default do you know what i mean being given that option is a blessing do you know what i mean because it allows me to make decisions as to how i want to proceed with my life now don't get it twisted every child is a blessing yes but if i'm being given this technology which i can use to detect early as if there's going to be any dis disabilities any down syndrome i'm going to take to that doctors can tell you that something's going to be wrong with your kid and not everything is what the doctor says it's going to be. That is another man who's studying just like you, who has been given knowledge to go and acquire more knowledge, to do research, to find out these things. Do you get what I'm saying? They, they're not God. They can't play God. They can tell your kid's going to be born with a defect and it comes out fine. It's, 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 it's happened before. It happens. There are miracles that happen every day. Don't take a miracle away from your life. A lot of the time I've seen you guys, um, you guys are nodding like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, no disrespect to fathers, yeah, because fathers are, and um, I know some amazing Charles fathers in this love time, yeah, pardon? The child is in us before it's in you. Yes, and, and that's, that I know, that's what I say, I don't disrespect fathers whatsoever. I bow down to fathers, brother. You guys are amazing. However, see us mothers, we don't put the child down. That's us forever. So, that's no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You see, with mothers, yeah, you see, I'm here now, my child's with his dad at the moment, but trust me, I'm still a mother 247. As soon as I finish, yeah, I'm messaging him, how's the child? I wake up in the morning, I cannot sleep, go to sleep normal without knowing if my child's okay. That's, that's what's expected of you, though. It's the same what's expected of fathers, but the difference is that fathers don't exactly go to that extent. No, you're lying. I'm not lying. I don't think she well, hold on, hold on. That. It's They're not seen in that way. Okay. Yeah. You're not law. seen, but we no, are. Yeah, no, yeah. By law, I am you Abraham, are the of many you nations. are the main carer of that child. Maybe I'm not wording it in the right way, yeah, but basically what I'm trying to say you, so is, yeah, I, I am you. always that mother's child. Like, yeah, I, carry, I, I carry that yeah. burden. So while she will go to work, say if I do have this disabled child, yeah, and you go to work, who's that for the child? Because majority of the time, you're going to have to go to work and I'm going to have to stay So what do you say about single yeah, fathers yeah. then? So what do you say about single fathers? Single fathers. That, look after, that look after the kid and the mother's not there. But wait, are we talking about in general? Or we no, I'm saying she's saying the mothers, she don't put down a child. So we're talking about the mothers that don't that put down the child. I think you guys are not understanding what she's saying. She's not saying that there are no, 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 no. She's not dissing no one's dad. No, I know that. Can I, you guys aren't fathers neither, so you wouldn't understand what it yeah, is to have a child. I'm a father. Alright, sorry, me, I didn't know. Bro, I just see it. I'm bored, bruv. I'm so bored. I just feel like this girl needs to get a grip. That's what I see. I'm not really going to go into it because, at the end of the day, what you're talking is rubbish. Single father, single mother doesn't matter. A parent is a parent to a child. And at the end of the day, it's not about biological because you have people that have good parents that didn't birth them, that they, just, they adopted them or even that's their next door neighbour that look after them more than actual parents is. So what you're talking about is just rubbish and just ugh, get off. Lucas, before you drop it, let me just say, all right, just wanted to touch on a couple of things that have been said. Like, I fully agree with um, Castillo saying, whether the child has a disability or not, people, there are some people, let's just be real, that should not be parents. Like, to be a good, I don't have kids, but I'm assuming from the people that do, to be a good parent, you've got to be totally selfless. You have to put Exactly. I, I like the way you put that selfless. You you have to be. So when you are making the decision to get rid of your disabled baby, is that's that being selfless? Yes. 
Selfish. Right, okay, so then I'm just wondering why you're shouting, yes, selfless. No, you, you won't be selfless to be no, a no, parent. I'm agreeing with you. I was yeah. wondering why she was emphasizing it. <coughs> and me personally, if I had the choice, if I was going to have a child and I knew that there was going to be this risk, I'm so, I wouldn't be able to go prove it. That's oh, why, that's I like this guy, straight, one. honest. I don't think I would be a parent because I'm quite a selfish person. I don't mm. think I could put someone before myself. Yeah. So if I can't do that, don't be a parent because I'm not going to be a good one. The first thing I'm going to say is um, the point you made. You have a disabled child, yeah? You, 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 you know. Uh, you know when the doctor tells you oh, you're potentially having a disabled child. So, you, you know, for, for your reasons, you decide not to keep the child, yeah? Say, for example, two parents, uh, two people that just have sex, yeah, and have a kid, yeah? Now, kids develop, yeah, mental, uh, uh, mental disorders, disabilities, yeah, f from just the environments they grow in, yeah. yeah? Now, do you think that is as bad as giving birth to a child? It's sort of tying into what you lot were saying about being um, parents in general, yeah? Having a child where you've had it with somebody that you, you don't know from Adam or whatever, you decided you as a female or whatever, you want to have this kid, mm -hmm. And there's now implications to having that child from the environment that it's so, been born into, the lack of support so or whatever, and it's now developed disabilities, yeah? When it's something to do with I'm, I'm trying to go yeah. with this, like. Yeah. Having a child is always going to be a selfish decision, yeah. regardless of whether it's, oh, knowing that the child is going to be disabled or knowing that so you can't... So isn't as selfish if you, raise, if you bring a child into this world and you don't give it the right support... Yeah, of course. ...and then it's got its own issues, or you bring in a child into this world with... They get diagnosed when they're I to, young. I wanted to make a point about um, knowing, like, the technology that we have now in, in, in terms of, like, knowing that a child can be potentially disabled. <coughs> and I think that... They didn't sorry? have scans back in the day. They don't have that now. No, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, they didn't have that. So, so there, were pe there were people that didn't have that choice. And I think that, um, to touch on what Lucas was saying earlier, it is, ignorance can be bliss at times. And I understand that, like, having the opportunity to know that your child can be disabled is a privilege. And it's a very big fucking privilege. You can say it's privilege, but it's also selfish. It's selfish, and, and that's the point I'm trying to make. If you have the yeah. choice of knowing, <laughs> then you can say, fuck this shit. What Lucas is saying is that you're, you're assuming that, oh, I can't give this child this, I can't give this child that, because they're disabled. And that may not necessarily be the case. So for the people that didn't have the choice before, they just gave birth to a child that was Ask disabled. Ask them if they're happy. But I've got family members that are... Ask them if they're truly happy. I could, I could tell, off camera, I can tell you if they're happy or not. What I'm saying is that the choice isn't isn't always necessarily a good thing. Being able to have that choice isn't necessarily a good thing. Who when it told comes, you? What? No, when it comes, put that it like this. Imagine you sense. can never have kids and this is the one and only pregnancy you get no, from a listen, thingy. Listen to, listen to what I'm logically saying here. If you have a choice to have a child and um, in, a, in a fucked up situation. How's it a fucked up situation? If you have a choice to have a child in a fucked up situation, that's selfish. And if you have, if you have a choice to have um, a child that's disabled, but let's say in this scenario, it sounds like she's in a loving relationship. So really and truly, why can't she give that that child everything that they need. No, but she's saying so is, saying, that, she's saying the, that the she opportunity doesn't want to, keep the child. to have a choice. Yeah. No, I'm saying the opportunity to have a choice is actually kind of exactly. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna ask every single one of you, apart from Tara, please stay I, I want you to be honest with yourselves, you know, because obviously we need to kind of like conclude and whatever. Would you given the choice, don't say that it's a it's a it's a, it's not a luxury. It's because we have developed as human beings, evolution has developed. No, but it is considering that a lot of people may have made the same okay, decision. Back in the day it could be looked at differently. We are now in this current climate, yeah? I'm asking you now personally, would you, given the chance to know, yeah, if your child is going to be heavily disabled, would you still that, take that choice of having that child? Don't give me the crap about, oh, because I love my child no matter what. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say to you, if I'm in a loving real. relationship with a woman that I love endlessly and this is my future, we're planning together, I don't care how much kid's going to be. If she wants to have that kid, we're going to do it. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. How is that a lie? I have disagreed with you. How? Lucas! If I'm happy Lucas! Woman, are you going to say that? Bro, you're lying. You're lying. I'm, I, you're lying. Bro, how, how are you, you going to tell me I'm lying? Lucas, if I'm with you... You're, you're lying. Bro, bro. You are lying. How? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Why how? is he... No, no, I'm one of those. Why is he lying? Why, why am I lying? Yeah. Why is he you're lying? Why am I lying? Why is he lying? Why am I lying? Lucas! Why am I lying? Alright, Lucas. The girl that you love. Why am I lying? You. You lie. Bro, it's based on you as a man. You're okay, placing and me as a man. And where we're coming me from. Me as a man. Because I have to make sure based on me as a Hold man. Hold on. Okay. Wait, wait. Go on. Listen, cool. Uh, get your situation. Lucas, 
based on what you're me saying, as a you, man, you would you? You're telling me you would. You just said I wouldn't. So I don't think you would. I don't think that's my opinion. Do you want me to explain? That's my opinion. It's my opinion. Do you want me to explain to you? Do you want me to? It's my opinion. Do you want me to explain to you why you just said I would? No, it's my opinion. You made a key point, and let me say why you made a key point because in the question, there's one part that we didn't even highlight, which is the guy said he wants the child. Why can't they give the life? If, if they both are in a loving relationship, why can't they give that child the life that they want? Obviously, pregnancy is um, very much a woman's journey and that's just how it's seen in society. Um, rightly so as well. Um, we are the ones that carry the child and we're the ones that give birth to the child. But we do forget oftentimes that there is a whole other man involved. He clearly wants this baby and I think that needs to be taken into consideration just as much as your feelings um, need to be taken into consideration. That's his child also that you're potentially going to abort. Um, if the baby, let's say, was healthy and you gave birth to this child and things didn't work out between you and your partner, would you not let your partner see the child? Uh, there's defamation of character here now. Oh, it's not defamation of character. No, <laughs> because but made, you made just made, made that, you just told me that, no, no I wouldn't. Okay. Now, what I'm telling you is this, yeah? My bro, hold on. Let me tell you why I would, yeah? Like the question says, yeah? Bro, Let's be honest, everything we're looking for in this life, if it's not uh, outside of money, is good woman, have kids, and live good. Us, yeah? Mm -hmm. Me, for, especially, yeah? Cool. If I have good woman, and God knows I'm going to have good money, Amen. sweet. Amen. My brother. What? No, forget my that. Brother, forget forget that. that. No, because you just, you just kind of... But that, that, that's part of me, right? That's part of me. Okay. Right? That's okay. part of my And I'm my, also my making, source, my I'm juice, also right? making the... I'm Hold making on. the... the so based on... Right. So, even like right now, yeah? Me and my missus, we're good. This is the person that we're building. We're, okay. we're, we're, this is it. Lucas, yeah? okay, okay. My G, if they said the kid has one leg, they said the kid has one arm, that's our... That's, that's you my can't hope. intervene. I have to carry that cross. Because, that's not a disability, because though. It's, it's, like, the same as, it's the same thing as saying that, oh, my child's going to die in 10 years, or my child's going to be disabled in 10 years. We, don't have, we, we can't know that. And, and the bottom line is, and what we need to stick to with what the question is saying, yeah, they have two people. The guy wants to have the... It's a partnership. It's not a single person doing it on the their guy own. The guy wants to have... Okay, but the but woman doesn't want... She doesn't want to keep it. You know why she doesn't want to keep it? it it's not even because of the thing. love. Oh, did it, did it, did it. Lucas, you're saying all that. It's not because of the love, bro. This debate says a lot know. about you lot as people. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you now. No, the reality is this. Do you know why? You, you know, know why? why? You know why? 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 Because if you have the support, if you have your family, yes. don't, don't, you just yes. ask me a question saying why. Don't block, Wait, don't cut me off. A child if yeah, is the pride of the father guy, and the daughter and mom. No, a down. child is a pride. The you pride, yeah? Why. Fam, right. on a serious level, when we're coming from, a child is the pride. You tell me, if I come with my son, he's kicking bull, and then you bring and your it son. it says a lot like, about you as people. No, it doesn't. It shows you that. Sound materialistic. I have my child. So. I'm materialistic. Let me be materialistic. Like Let me be. I want my child to be Cristiano Ronaldo. You want your son to be what? I want my son to be Cristiano Ronaldo. You're telling me that my son can come in in a different way. You know how many people who have disabilities are making money in the industry? There's a model that's, this, that's got Down syndrome. Big man thing, yeah? I couldn't do it, bruv. Because let's say the doctor told me I was going to have a son and he was going to have an abnormally large head, a slack jaw, and no ears. That means I've got to spend the rest of my life looking at my son's little ugly face, telling him that he's beautiful, bruv. These times my son looks like a fucking alien, bruv. My son's out here making onions cry. I couldn't do that, bruv. If you talk bad about people that have nothing, no capabilities to change the, the circumstances and the situations they were born in, people that were born naturally a certain way, and you take their mickey, Hmm. When your child comes out with six eyes. Mm hmm. When your child has eight feet. Mm hmm. You have to deal with that. Because you think you are doing gym. I'll leave it there. For starters, the money team you just talked about. My man from South Africa, the 100 meter sprinter, the disabled sprinter. I'm pretty sure he's caked. But is he remembered? Oh, that's just Is he remembered? Yeah. He's very. Blade runner. Man's in prison, Blade though. Runner. He's in Sit prison. That's different. He's story in prison. Blade runner. He's in prison. Oh, talk about you saying both. That's something you can talk about. It says a lot about you as a person. No, man. it doesn't. It shows that thing, I, didn't say, I am not ready to put myself in a situation where I know as a man, I'm not going to stick through with it. That is my fucking choice. Let's be real. You have a choice to live a life of a, the way you want to live your talk. life. And you, got, you want to make a choice because you don't want to be looked at a certain way. Nigga, when the fuck you pick a bitch, have you got an STD? Yes, I have. You're still going to jump there and get the STD. We're different kind of niggas. No, because it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a, choice. It's a fucking choice. What's that? 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 What's
Let me let me let me let me just quickly land yeah. The bottom line is yeah, it's a chase. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go on, Lucas. The bottom line is there. The question says yeah, they, 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 they both of them are in a good relationship, and the thing you look for are comforts. If we have the comforts, the supports, and the structure that you need. The question shouldn't be about not having anything into your situation because you have what you can to deal with it. Back to the question you even said about technology. We have the technology. We live in a society today that we know things. So if you know the knowledge of, oh, doctor says this and your child's going to be disabled, it puts you at an advantage. Maybe you can plan. Maybe you can give it? that child are extra comfort. Yeah. Why are we looking at it the way we're looking at it? It's so I fucked up. Like, I 100% I agree with the realities of, you know what, be logical about it, what you can take, what you can understand, what you can do with. Yes. But as people, my G, what? So because the child is disabled now, they don't have lights. No, one second, do you know what? Fuck off. Do you know what? Do you know what I'm getting from this? Bro. To bring a human into this world alone, a normal human. So a disabled person is not a human. I'm getting the fuck off here, man. You're all trying shit. But to bring a normal child into this world and it not have any disability is hard. Do you get what I'm saying? To raise a child, to raise any human is hard. But to raise a child. Without no disabilities, without no complications, it's alone really hard. is hard. Yeah. It is a struggle. Yeah. You just have to remember. Some people, some people, some people, happiness is subjective. We have to remember that. I'm at a place where I can't listen to bullshit no more. I'm not here to force my opinions on you. It's not by force. I'd give you whatever knowledge I know, the little I have. It's up to you. You take it, you don't. A word is enough for the wise. But you see, this here, I'm tired of playing games with people. I'm tired of. Everyone pretending like they give a shit. Black-hearted beanies, cold-hearted donnies. You, you all claim to give a shit. I think this is the very foundation of you being bare. You can see everybody's heart now, innit? I really don't understand why Lucas is walking out. This is a debate show. We are going to say things that are not comfortable and that you're not going to agree with. Sit your ass down and listen. Stop walking out because that's all dramatics. And, and disabled people are still people at the end of the day. The bond you have the bond you have your child, the bond you have your child is not just Instagram. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel you're not talking, you don't want to do play dates and dress up your kid, whatever. You have to do you even have a child to understand wait. what we're talking about? This ain't about. Man. But how are you talking about? Oh, I'm about this. Right wait. Wait. So wait, I, my, listen, am I not a child? 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 So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're not making him comprehend concepts. No, that's not the point because you What are you talking about? She just said. Wait, no, wait, that's not the point. She just said. You sound silly. You sound silly. Shut your mouth and then you understand what I'm saying. Shut These are parents, you know. So just it doesn't matter. I'm still a child. I have a mother. Do you know what I'm Listen, saying? I have family. I have I'm sister. Well. What are you talking about? I'm telling you. Mommy, dad having about. me. Do you know what I'm saying? My mum is a single mum. My brother has ADHD and I've got mental illness, but it's not easy. It's not easy. So you talking about Instagram and how we dress up our kids? That's got nothing to do with anything, babe. That's got nothing to do with the topic. You lot don't want to say with kids because it's hard. It's not. It's not like he said. He wants to do football with his kid, whatever. Etc. But I was real to it. No, it's a rule. I understand that. As most people don't want to say with kids. I want my son to be with Christian Ronaldo. If you're a thousand wheelchair, you can't do certain things. You can't do them a holiday. Any day. No, no, it's deeper than that. I'm saying personally. I'm, I'm, she said I'm not a dad yet. I understand. I'm 23. Yeah. I'm doing my business, so I don't have time for a kid yet. And when I do get my kid, I've thought about it. If my kid is disabled, I, I've thought about it already. I have thought about what, that. What I, 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 no, I will keep my kid. I'll, 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 be, I'll, I'll be there for I my kid. I commend you. But cool. I don't agree with you. Thank you. I want Christine Ronaldo. Just to round everything up here, yeah, I don't think we're saying everyone knows what they're capable of and everyone knows what they've seen in this life and what they've experienced at the end of the day. So my struggle or what I may have seen, for example, coming from and seeing my grandma's um, brother uh, raise a disabled child will make me make that decision as to, do you know what, I don't want to I don't want to struggle like that. Whereas there's some other people who may have experienced it and had a better outcome and yeah. saw, oh my gosh, I can do this. Do you know what I'm saying? Some people are natural like lovers, like they, they will love no matter what the situation is. Where some people know, they don't want to go through that struggle because they've seen. So no one's saying, no one is bad for making that decision and no one is wrong for making that decision. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it is still a selfish, whether you choose to keep that child or not, you're, or not, you're still going to be selfish. Because upon uh, above it all, you don't know, that child is going to suffer. Yeah. And, and it's going to have And it's your choice. Can I, can I, and that's a total choice. Something? So nobody, wait Mark, nobody is bad, no one is wrong or no one is right. No one is yeah, wrong. Lucas can say, oh, looking at humans is insightful. At the end of the day, it is what it is. People have struggled and and they sit there and say, I don't want my child to struggle. Honestly, we struggle and we struggle regardless. We struggle every day regardless. You know what I'm saying? I've got a friend of mine, yeah, who's got a daughter um, who 
is severely disabled and the reality, you know the person as well, the reality is when I speak to her, <laughs> Steelers face. she does, he does, he, don't worry, we'll talk about it later. She is miserable. She is so miserable. You know why? Because she blames the society, she blames the injection that the child got that changed the mind. Yeah. I even asked her, I said to her, if given the choice, she her dating life, everything is spoiled. The dad is supportive, but the dad has moved on. Exactly, that's it another thing you up, don't think about. It broke, the relationship broke down. You know what the dad said to the child? He said, and also I was gonna, I wanted to touch on it, is religion. He said, from where I'm from, for a child to be disabled, and I mean this to nobody, this is what it was said, mm -hmm. it is a curse. That's what the dad. That's, that's what Chris said. Everyone's be a parent. Hold on. No, I'm just this asking, is hold on. I just wanted to know. But he's Caribbean. Oh, okay. Oh, the guy was like, it is a curse. And for oh, that, okay. it, you, do you get, you know the thing? Do you get? It broke down the relationship. My man moved on, had another kid. Do you understand? I kept it pushing. She is miserable. And her and her daughter, she says, oh, she loves her daughter to bits. But if she had the chance to go back, yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's a painful thing to say though. But that's the reality. Wait, yeah, it's it's reality. reality. I believe that a lot of people out there are gassed in the moment and say, yeah, I'll do it, I'll ride. But let's narrow it down, be truthful to ourselves and actually speak on facts. I guarantee you, 99.9% .9 of you, if given opportunity, would terminate on site. Another thing that we didn't look at is the fact of the matter is they're in a happy relationship now. Yeah, we don't yeah. know but what she's could happen. Thinking... Let me finish, let me finish, Mark. We're, they're in a happy relationship, the question. They're in a happy relationship now. Let's just say they break up in two years. Like Mark just explained to me. That's his what friend. I'm trying to get. That man moves on. Who is left with that child? The, the woman. mother. Mom. Do you understand? And so we, so as women, if we decide, it's a big decision on us. Yes, we can listen to you guys and take on what you say. And sometimes some women will be like, do you know what? As long as I know he's going to be there and they trust in what they've got, they will, you know, ride with it. Just but know you're sleeping women in. have to think like, you see with me, if I got married today, as much as I'm trying to be, as, as much as I'm trying to have um, me and my husband in, in a happy home, me also, I have to also plan for just in case. And that's how I've been because I've struggled. Okay. I have to have some for exactly insurance. But, but touching on what you said, like, from personal experience, like, as soon as my daughter got found out with autism, as soon as my other daughter found out that she's got Jaya syndrome, that broke my relationship with my partner. So it's like, it. let me finish. Wow, why did we it actually, it? because okay, my daughter had a hernia and her ovary was popping out of her abdomen wall. Imagine having to push your daughter's ovary in, that's the size of a grape, in a hole that's the size of a pea. You understand? It put so much pressure on us on Friday the 13th. We broke up. We got back together a couple months ago. Why? Because her health got back in check. She had medical visits. She was getting support yourself, from health workers and doctors. My daughter, my yourself. other daughter was getting physiotherapy because she couldn't walk. Okay, She's so all put, like this so for months on end because she couldn't do anything. Put yourself in an Esther's position of course. where the couple, uh, uh, they're kind of happy. I'm going to round it up here. The couple are happy, but then this woman, in my opinion, is thinking for the future. This child or whatever could be a disruptive thing in their in relationship. In all honesty, if I was to get pregnant it, again, I, I, I wouldn't actually speaking. keep the pregnancy because of the simple fact that I know that I've already got but my son who has autism and ADHD. Put yourself in that situation. That have have I'm done. Why? I've tapped out. Do you know what? Do you know what? You know what? You know what? It, no, I don't regret my kids. I will never regret so why, my kids. Do you know child? why? Because I almost died in birth with Ava because she came out breech. They left placenta inside, so I almost died so on the table. The so the you had with Ava, but you wouldn't do it again. No. Well, I wouldn't have, I, would, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't go for another pregnancy again because I almost died having my kids, all three of them. So I almost died having all three of I'm my kids, but I still did parents. it. I haven't been around people like this where they're talking about dis disabilities and these type of things because I live with it on a daily basis. So I don't talk about it because that's my daily life. That's my, my morning, my evening, my night, my, my sleepless nights, my sleepless days. When hearing it from Mark's perspective, it hit me and I was like, actually, you know what? There, there is a little sprinkle in truth of what he says of when he said, would I go through it again? And I said, yeah, but on looking back on it, Mark, yeah, you, you were right on that little part. You were. She's not a bad person for, for having the feelings that she's having. No, she's she needs to sit down, evaluate. The reason why I don't feel like I can have a child is because of X, Y, and Z. And if you really don't think that you can give that child everything that they need, mm -hmm. I'm on. Do, your, do what you have to do and keep it moving. That's what I have to say. I'm not really judging no one too tough on there because I understand where they're coming from. Again, I keep banging on about self-love and this is a journey people need to take to understand themselves. And I can see through people that haven't taken this journey. So I understand 
their point of view. Raising a child that's disabled, even raising an, an, a healthy child, it's not easy to raise a healthy child, you know what I'm saying? Everything's going to be hard. They're short-sighted. They need to deep what they're actually talking about and think about themselves and what they was missing and what they can bring to the table more. Listen, I mean, everyone's entitled to their choice, you know? We don't have to agree with what you're saying. I mean, obviously, this is a sensitive situation to you, like it is sensitive to everybody else in the room. Why are you the only person that left the room and didn't come back? That's a question I leave to him. I do respect that this may touch you dearly, but was that necessary?